This is Tim with Fit to the Core. Uh, today I want to discuss deceleration. It was the fifth mistake on the top uh, five mistakes coaches make when teaching speed. Um, it's an important concept to teach. Think about athletes on the field. They need to be agile, and deceleration is a big component of that. If they're not taught appropriately how to get in those right angles of deceleration, deceleration basically is uh, the ability to be able to redirect their body when they're reacting to a defender, or it could be trying to create the space on offense. So think defense, close space, offense, we need to create space. We need to get in the right angles to be very efficient at changing those directions. And a lot of times, like I said, athletes are not taught this skill. They're just told to get to point A to B. I'm going to show you today, right now, how we would first start teaching an athlete uh, deceleration. He's going to get an athletic stance here. Now I want you just to imagine that he's reacting to, I'm on offense, he's defense, he's just reacting to me. So if I'm running this way and he's reacting to me, he's going to have to put that foot outside the box. If I'm going to redirect myself this way, he's got to react to me. So to optimally be able to do that, foot outside the box, thinks shoulders and hips. The faster he goes, the further this foot has to be out, the lower his angle has to be. Okay? The knee's going to be forward, hips back, shoulders forward. This is all going to happen simultaneously because once he loads this, with that flat perpendicular foot or slight toe in, he's going to finish with extension. This is his redirectional foot. This is, I mean, this foot is direct. This is directional change foot that we need to plant with a flat foot. If he's on the ball of his foot here, not only is he not going to be able to get into that dorsiflexion, he's not going to get to those positive shin angles, turn these muscles on to load, to explode, but he's also going to be slipping. Plus, he's not, like I said, if he hits here, he's not going to have as much surface area. Most athletes are going to slip out of that position. So, again, this all happens simultaneous. The legs loaded and exploding. Now I'm going to have them step over here. So we teach that step. We teach. We foot outside the box. Positive shin angle. Knees forward. Gets back. Shoulders forward. Okay? Now he's going to take a step. Now we're going to do, add a, just a little more dynamic to this. He's going to take a step with his left and plant right. Okay, so again, when he plants his foot, this is going to happen simultaneous, all right? He's responding and changing his directions to meet the uh, offensive player, okay? Next, he's going to do the same thing again. This time, this time, he's going to sprint out of it. So notice how quickly he comes out of this. Notice what his foot does, notice where his angles are. Go. Punch and gone, okay? That needs to happen. He's decelerating. He needs to get that foot outside of the box. He needs to have this angle to re-accelerate to responding to that offensive player. I'm going to get him in athletic position here, and I want to show you the mistake that most athletes make. When they go to put this foot out, sometimes they don't even put the foot outside of the box. Usually, they're kind of stuck with their toe open right here trying to change directions, which means the only way they can move now back that way is to get high. All right? Then they're going to have to usually pivot their foot to move, all right? So if his foot gets stuck under here, the only way he's got to go is this way, all right? He needs horizontally, horizontal flexion. He needs to get off that spot and get to spot B. A, B, he needs to get there quick. Also, another mistake is they come out and toe out. When they toe out, they're gonna, you're going to see the shoulder swaying over because he doesn't have a good, solid base of support to change his direction. He's not relying on his posterior chain anymore. He's allowing on these front muscles here, the quads and stuff. The other thing that happens, not only is this not optimal, when he plants this way, you're going to see the stress that's coming valgus to this knee here. This can cause a lot of ACL injuries. We also get issues with a lot of males with sports hernias or lower back pain as well. Okay, So this is a huge mistake as well. This is not an optimal way to change positions. I'm going to have you go over there and do it wrong. And I, want to, I want you to see the difference. From the first to the second, he's going to toe out and do it wrong. Ready? Go. Okay. Now I'm going to have him do it again. This time he's going to try to sprint out of it. You're going to see how slow he looks and where his shoulders go. Go. Okay. See the pause. His whole body's going this way. Rather than allowing his foot to go out and reposition his feet already in the angle of reacceleration, he's going to break down. Okay. Then he's going to have to reposition his body to come back this way. That is a faulty technique. Not only, did I, not only is it not optimal for reacceleration, it's not optimal for agility. Injury potential goes way up. All right. Then also, what we got here is we got an athlete that is going to get beat. Simple as that. Seconds, milliseconds, they all count in sport. If an athlete's doing this, 
When they toe out, it could be because they don't have proper ankle mobility. All right? If the foot's getting stuck under or you're seeing that shoulder swing, could be lack of core stability. Single leg strength is huge for reacceleration and acceleration, so those could all be issues. But the fact, that, like I discussed in the last video, if you're not assessing, this is a moot point, okay? You don't know why the athlete's doing it if you didn't assess the, the athlete. Once you assess the athlete, you're going to know whether they can get this position. If they can't get in it, you get you give them the exercise where they can get in that position so we can optimally get in and out of excel, re, acceleration and reacceleration. That right there is agility, but we have to teach them first how to do it before we ask them to do it.